Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I'm bringing you a video about decorating uh, a door in my house here for St. Patrick's Day. So all of these decorations I purchased at the Dollar Tree. So um, I got a pack of 12 of the shamrocks here and the lighter green and the darker green. They were a um, dollar for 12. I got a pack of uh, coins, gold coins, lucky coins for a dollar and two strands of the garland. And I also picked up the leprechaun here. He is on this uh, felt material, also a dollar. And um, the wrapping paper I had had left over from Christmas, I purchased this at um, Hobby, Hobby Lobby. I think it's the Brothers and Sisters brand uh, of wrapping paper. So, oh, and I also got this cute little, um, the little doorknob hanger here with the bells. And oopsie, dropped it. It's a little champs in the shape of a shamrock. Isn't that cute? So I've got that. So all in all, this door decoration probably cost me, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably for about uh, $6, I was able to decorate my whole door here for St. Patrick's Day. And like I said, the kids love it. I love it. It's festive and it's a lot of fun. So um, if you guys end up doing a project like this, I would love to see it. Um, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Tanya, or it's Thrifty Treasures Tanya on Facebook. I'd love to see a picture of you got, of y'all's door if you decide to do something like this. And also, I wanted to show you. I have my little dog here decorated. Um, I put this out, uh, or I decorate my dog here usually for every season. And so um, he's. We've got some coins on the trunk there. He is rocking a scarf from the Dollar Tree and also a bow. This also came from the Dollar Tree. And um, the hat here, I think I bought this hat at um, Goodwill for like a dollar ninety-nine. I'm not seeing any tags on it. But um, I thought that, that was really cute. And I think he's like a, um, a uh, Greyhound dog. So um, yeah, and I got him a while back at a garage. So I think I paid 15 or $20 for him. And I thought about putting them in the booth, but, uh, yep, yeah, nope, I like them too much, gonna have to keep them. <laughs> okay, guys, before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to share with you these two super pretty new hanging baskets I just bought. Um, I have one with the dark pink and the light pink. They're called fuchsia plants. Aren't they beautiful? And then I had never seen this one. It's kind of like a pink with a little, like a pale pink or white color. And um, I got these at HEB and they were $12.99 each. But they're so pretty. Just wanted to share with you guys. Okay, guys, so real quick, I thought I would share with you guys what we are going to have for dinner tonight, and that's gumbo. So I'm making my roux right now. It's just flour with some bacon grease. I've got my uh, vegetable mixture already all cut up, and I have my potatoes. Yes, I like potatoes in my gumbo. And I got some shrimp and I got some all natural white lump crab meat. So um, if you guys are interested in making this gumbo, um, I have another video just on this, um, how to make this gumbo and the ingredients and everything. Um, you can find it by doing a search in my videos. So I just wanted to show you guys what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Bye. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, short little quick video. And if you guys have any ideas for crafting, I would love to hear them. Please comment in the description box down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.